At the woodside, about 4.2 miles in. Good run. Uh, raining a little bit, but it should be good today. Making a really good time. All right, so we're about six miles in. Already left the first aid station. Uh, feeling like it's going to be a really good run today. Uh, when I did my first trail ultra on February 4th, it was this course. So having a really good time. Kind of running it for the second time here. And uh, today's December 4th, so it's actually uh, February to December, exactly 10 months from the day that I ran my first ultra, and it was right here. So this course is kind of a little special in its own way. Hopefully I'll run a little bit faster. I did the very first time, which was I think six hours and just a few seconds. So. Hopefully under six hours today. Have to see how it goes. Okay, just a little bit past the uh, mile 11 here. Hopefully we'll be coming up to a aid station pretty soon so we can get some food. Uh, making a pretty good time. Uh, right now I'm pretty much on pace to run just under six hours. So hopefully I'll be able to keep it up. I haven't had to walk too much on this course, just kind of every now and then, but the hills aren't too bad just like I remember. So hopefully we'll get going here and uh, start making up a little bit more time, but definitely feeling like I could do under six finally. The last few have been, you know, eight hours or so. I haven't really been running them. So hopefully uh, my legs will stay fresh. They feel pretty good. And uh, I would have finally finished in a, a decent time today. I just left the uh, aid station at about 11.4 miles, about two hours and 13 minutes in. Uh, just getting a quick bite to eat. Then we're kind of doing a uh, running out, doing a loop and coming back. That should put us a little over eight, almost nine miles. Then uh, pretty much run back to the start. So uh, feeling pretty good so far. Feeling good about the run. Uh, couldn't find my regular trail shoes that I've been wearing all year, so I'm wearing a new pair today. Got some new uh, sleeves that I'm wearing that Kyle gave me yesterday from Sierra Running. And I uh, got a new hydration backpack that I'm using, so it's kind of all new gear today, so I'm kind of seeing how it all works. I really like the backpack, and the sleeves are keeping me pretty warm. And uh, the shoes are working out pretty good too, so. I uh, haven't worn them before. Uh, I've worn this model before, just not this pair. But uh, we might as well break them in with a good uh, 31 mile run. Then I'll wear them in two more weeks. Then I'll wear them in February for Montana de Oro. And then hopefully they'll uh, last the entire 100 miler that I'm doing the end of uh, February, the Rocky Road 100. We'll just have to see. But uh, all right, gonna start hitting the road here. Try to nail this next uh, eight and a half ish miles out. Okay, so we're about mile. 19 and a half, uh, my pace has totally dropped off. My legs just do not feel like they're into it today. Uh, it really sucks. I'm like trying to run fast and I just like can't go. So I think it's just they're a little, a little too worn out. So I'm just kind of walking uphill right now, but even the uh, downhills I'm having trouble on. So uh, I think making my goal of six hours or better just totally is not gonna happen today. Right now I'm just gonna shoot for under seven, which totally sucks, because that's like a whole hour uh, slower. But, oh well. Uh, I think this next week I just need to take it a little easier again, and then train a little bit, and then uh, you know, there's another ultra in two weeks. That'll be the 
the last one for the year. So just got to kind of figure out how to, I think, recover a little bit better in two weeks and still be able to decently run that one. I think will be the goal. But, uh, you know, a little disappointed right now how things are going. But you know, it's a nice day out. It's not raining like they expected it to. It's a little windy. But other than that, it's pretty nice. It's, you know, been a good day so far as far as the weather and everything. But running, had some good good spots in here, but just kinda, just the last couple miles here, I'm totally, totally dragging. Maybe I'll pop out of it, but my legs are just killing me right now. All right, so I got about eight miles left. I'm about three miles behind what my uh, goal pace was, which just sucks because three miles could be anywhere between three mi seven minutes a mile to like 13 minutes a mile. So I could be anywhere between about 23 minutes off my goal to almost an hour. So it's really kind of hard to gauge, but at least I have some nice uh, scenery to look at. I'm not feeling too bad like I was a while ago. I'm a little bit better, but uh, my legs are still just really tired. So I think just the next two weeks I need to take it a little bit easier again, and hopefully I'll be good for the uh, for Dale Beach, and then you know just kind of start over, just kind of taper over all my training down for a little bit and uh, get ready for the marathon I'm doing in February in Death Valley and uh, you know just kind of see see how that goes. I think I'm going to do a little bit different training for the next year. Maybe a few less races at the end of the year. I've kind of jammed half the races I've done this year in the last three months so you know I just got to I think probably not try not to do so many in so short a time, but you know, we'll just have to see how I feel. Who knows, next year right now I might be doing like, instead of my 12th one of the year, maybe the 15th or 16th. Who knows? Alright, just left the uh, last aid station. I have about four miles left ish. Four or five. So, uh, trying to just get this thing done and get home and have a relaxing night. Probably take a nice hot bath. Let's kind of relax. The last few miles are on this really neat little trail here. It's kind of got a nice little drop off down there, but it's just got a nice little kind of secluded feeling. But just uh, about three more miles left. Uh, feeling a little bit better now that I know it's almost done. I can, you know, just kind of get it over with, but hopefully uh, a couple weeks to do a little bit better, feel a little bit better. Kind of know what I need to work on. My hips are just killing me right now. So, I'm going to start doing a little bit more cross training, probably riding my bike, as much as I hate doing that. But, uh, you know, it's kind of thinking to bounce out a little bit more. I've just been running a lot lately. I need to start doing some other stuff. I'm getting so close to the end, I can taste it. There's going to be some chicken soup, some, uh, I can't even think right now. A lot of food, that's the main thing. Chicken noodle soup, they always have that. Some chili, some soda, some Jack in the Box on the way home. Uh, I'm so excited to get to that finish line. These last few miles, I can't help but think how crazy it is that 10 months ago, today, I ran my very first ultra right here on this course. And in 10 months, today is number 12. And I've ran three marathons. And there's been like some half marathons and stuff like that. But 
if you told me a year ago that I was going to be doing this, I'd have told you you were crazy. I have so many friends who are getting into this now, and I remember trying to get them to go out and run, and they said, I can't run a mile. Hey. And uh, some of them are running ultras now, too. So it's very cool to know that we're all doing stuff that we thought we could never do. So I'm trying like hell to finish fast, but man, how often do you see, see a deer on a, uh, on a marathon course? How cool is that? Trail running, you know, you get everything. All right, quarter mile, I'm gonna bust this out here. Feeling pretty good. At least I'll be under seven hours. I guess I'm looking at it that way. Okay, so uh, Woodside's all done, apparently, since I'm not running on it right now. Um, finished in six hours, 59 minutes, and just a few seconds. Uh, in the end, I just kept thinking and try to finish under seven hours. Uh, I was actually on pace for about a five hour, 40 minute finish up until about mile 18 or 19. And my legs just weren't having it anymore. They kind of kind of locked up, it felt like, in my hips. And I just couldn't, couldn't really run very fast, uh, even on the downhills. And it was really frustrating. Then uh, I got uh, to an aid station and got a little bit of a, took a salt capsule. And that seemed to help a lot, just getting some salt, I think, in my system. Uh, but I mean, as far as eating, I did pretty good. I think I didn't eat too much like I have the last couple. Uh, you know, I kept everything. I think fairly okay. I think the thing I need to change is I just was drinking water the entire run. I didn't even really drink any soda or sports drink or anything like that. So that'll definitely be a change next time. But um, yeah, so not not excessively happy with my time. But you know, I'm gonna go back in uh, March and hopefully it'll be. It'll be good by then. We'll just have to see, see what goes on. But uh, one more ultra left for the year, uh, December 18th, the Rodeo Beach, or Rodeo Beach, whatever you want to call it, uh, 50K. Hopefully maybe that one will run a little bit faster uh, than seven. Uh, you know, my times haven't been what I've wanted, but they have been actually getting faster. Um, not my fastest, but, uh, you know, just... Uh, I think with all of them being so close to each other, it's just kind of hard to really get a good recovery and uh, and hit them as hard as I'd like to. But uh, Rodeo Beach, I think, will be a, a fun one. Kyle's going to be there with me, uh, and a bunch of other people are going to run. A couple of the, the girls from work are going to go and do the uh, the 8K. Uh, my niece, Nicole, is going to do the, the 20K, and then um, Kara, who I work with, is going to be out there, and some of her friends also. And, uh, I think having Kyle out there to do the 50 will make it a lot more fun. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to keep up with him, you know. Uh, I think he's going to gonna really try to nail out the course, and hopefully I'll be able to also. If I could finish in, like, 6.45, I'll be pretty happy. Six and a half, even better. But we'll just have to have to see what happens on that day. I'm not going to be too worried about it. I think I'm going to be more relieved just finishing my 13th one of the year on that day. And, you know, whatever my time is, that's that's what it is. So... Uh, that said, you know, gonna just kind of take it easy the next uh, few days here, do some some easy training, and just kind of let my body recover and do its thing, and hopefully all the mileage I've ran in the last year will, uh, you know, hopefully I don't have to put too much more in to to finish this one hard. I don't think I need to really run too much this week. Just uh, nothing over really eight miles, I think. Uh, trying to work on my speed a little bit, but not too much. Uh, but yeah, so hopefully, hopefully a good time on the 18th, and uh, I don't know, we'll just have to see what happens.